Lee Tiffin will kick off. Ron Brooks and Trendon Holiday are the deep man. This will be Ron Brooks, number 13, near side. Tackled and down at the 26-yard line. The stop made by number 20, Tyrone King. Joseph back with time. He'll run. He does this quite well. Jefferson might not have gotten it. And so far, Peterson is matching up with Julio no matter where he goes. There he is right there. He switched sides for the play. That's best on best. Here's McElroy inside to Marquise Mays. Got a seam. Gets a block. First down, Alabama. Third down. Blitz again. McElroy finds his third option. That's a tight end. Williams gets a block from Marquise Mays. And it is a first down across the 50. John Chavis in his first year as defensive coordinator, having spent 30 years of his life. And there's a fumble. They tried the Wildcat. And Mark Ingram, who dropped the ball, had it uh, recovered by Tennessee, one of the key plays, muffs this one on the snap. That brings on P.J. Fitzgerald, Trinden Holiday, who's averaging 14.6 yards per return. Had a couple of big ones against Tulane last week. And he'll let this one bounce, and it's going to go out of bounds. At the eight-yard line, play clock at five. Let's it go deep down the middle, caught wide open. There is a flag as LaFell makes the catch. Too many players in the backfield, I think, for LSU. I thought it was an illegal formation when I saw it the first time. Jefferson from the end zone. Goes deep into double coverage. Robbie Green is the closest to the ball. Number 23, that one had almost no chance. Toss Ingram. Ooh, didn't get much blocking help on that right side. Tell you, the tight end, Michael Williams got backed up. They'll go from the eye formation now with Scott at fullback and Keelan Williams at the tailback. Now the shift. There's the flip. Left side, Tolliver's open as the defender slipped and fell. Woodall misses the tackle, and Kareem Jackson, who had slipped and fallen, catches up to make the tackle. Shepard's longest run of the year against Auburn, 69 yards. Here's the option pitch. No. Late. Javier Arenas. Now, Les Miles will go with his place kicker as the pooch punter it's Josh Jasper and this one will bounce oh boy right along the one yard line and Ron Brooks got down there and down the ball all right thank you Tim Oregon 5 and 0 in the Pac-10 for the second time here's McElroy from the end zone he goes for Marquise Mays got it McElroy told us yesterday, I am comfortable going deep. I think you expect your free safety to get to that throw. Blitz coming from Harry Coleman. No flag in the backfield. The pass is complete for LSU. That's Coutreras. Started the uh, season as the starting middle linebacker. Had an interception of 29 yards for a touchdown in the opening game against Washington. The Huskies blitz coming again. McElroy avoids the pressure from Kelvin Shepard. He'll run and skips out of bounds short of the first down at the 44-yard line. LSU is hanging right in there. They have tremendous talent. Play fake. Pass out of the end zone. It's caught by D'Angelo Peterson. My gracious. Russell Shepard on the field again. They quick flip it behind him. Nice catch. And then he breaks a tackle. And is look at the enthusiasm of the assistant coaches. How about that? Alabama's coming. Jefferson dodges the tackle behind the line. 
and gets down to the 45 yard line. Let's go to Tim Brando for this Heisman watch presented by Nissan. Shepard is on the field. They hand it short to Scott. He does not get there. Yes, he did. Oh, he, he did. Second. Yes, yep. indeed. I thought his initial contact had stopped him. Great short yardage running here by Charles Scott, who lined up at fullback. Blitz again. Jefferson steps up. He'll run it. He's got the first plus. First down and 10 after the gain of 14. Tyler Edwards is on as a tight end. Here's the option near side. The pitch. Scott inside the 15. First and 10 LSU trying to be the first to score. Good protection in the end zone. Wide open is D'Angelo Peterson with his first touchdown catch of 2009. Jasper will kick off. Arenas and Julio Jones are the deep men. Arenas. Still going. Out near midfield. Richardson, spin move. Bangs his way for a first down at the 35-yard line. Brandon Taylor finally took him down. That's a pickup of 11. McElroy back, steps up, settles for the short man. Marquise Mays on the underneath crossing route. Chris Hawkins with the tackle, but a gain of 12. And he, uh, as we said, he had such modest numbers against Tennessee, only 120 yards, but he, he managed the game well. And no turnovers. Oh, he's got a man wide open, oh, and he misses man. it. Julio Jones. Oh, my gosh. Here's the good news. Look at that graphic. 20 of 23. Here's the bad news. He's had to kick 23 field goals. Again, they come up short. This one for 28 yards. He's the number two all-time scorer in Alabama history. And with that kick, he climbs within five points of tying Philip Doyle for the all-time lead. Third down. Another blitz. Jefferson runs away from it, pulls up and just throws it away. He was under immense pressure. Robbie Green. Out of the shotgun. Handoff up the middle goes to Mark Ingram. All the way out to the 35-yard line. First down, 10. McElroy, left side. Wide open, one-on-one. -on -one. Marquise Mays, fourth catch in the first half. That one's a pickup of 11. Roy Upchurch, a running back, split wide to the right. McElroy, it's a three-down lineman now, and they bring four. McElroy across the middle, missed incomplete, him. and missed he him. missed him. Yep. Boy, did he ever. Marquise Mays. Scott is the running back. 7-3 LSU. Nothing. Nope. And as we get back to play, it's second and nine at the 25. Ingram way wide to the left. McElroy, short route. Marquise Mays comes underneath again. And uh, that's going to be an Alabama first down. Clock stops while they reset the chain. 55 seconds to go. McElroy, Julio Jones breaks free across the 50 to the 49. That's a timeout. Now they got the ball over half the field. Clock stops. A very good drive right now. McElroy comes right. Got his tight end, Brad Smelly. And Alabama, two timeouts left. Ingram again splits wide to the right side. McElroy's going deep into double coverage. Oh. Flag is thrown. Peterson pleading, no, not me. On first down. Yes. yes. Yes, he does. McElroy off his back foot. Oh, my gosh. Colin Peake was not even looking. Oh, his urban in McElroy's face. Excuse me. His 
Nick Saban in Greg McElroy's face on this one. Kelvin Shepard just waited for the ball to get there. His first interception of the year. And LSU on the road will take a knee. You know, LSU comes into this game and says, we got just as good as athletes as you do. And they are toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Here's McElroy back to throw. He will run instead. Now fires. And it is caught. Mark Ingram on the receiving end. Are we going to see more Ingram and Mays is off on a first half? Here's Ingram again. Yes, look at him. Almost. Almost broken. 12 yards. Out of Flint, Michigan. First down and 10. They'll go to him for the third time, and he's got a little stutter step that allows him to pick up three more yards. First down, Alabama. Ingram goes out as a wideout now on second and 10. Now comes back to... Uh, Set up alongside, and he gets the handoff, goes left. A heavy dose of Mark Ingram. Again, Peterson swaps over to cover Julio Jones at the top of your screen. McElroy rolling out, goes deep for Hanks, caught it! Touchdown, Alabama! Duke and Georgia Tech play next week. Back to you. And here's Jefferson in trouble. Pulls up, lobs it. He's got a Oh, Scott went right through his hands. Late on the field, one of the Alabama defenders, Tolliver, has a first down. Scott, quick opener, right side, first down at the 47 of Alabama. Boy, he saw a crease that time and just took it and went with it. Gain of nine and another LSU first down. Blitz, play fake. Jefferson in real trouble. Throws it away. There should be a flag. There is. Not outside the tackle box, and Miko Johnson got through and Jefferson grabbed his ankle and lived off he sure did Jarrett Lee's going to come on the field isn't he LSU loads up with four to the left one to the right third and 25 Alabama counters they will send three and drop eight here's Lee underneath RJ Jackson that's a nice gain to the 42 yard line but leaves them needing five more This time, four-man rush, Thanks. pass is caught. R.J. Jackson, first down, LSU at the 25, and a flag is thrown. There are two flags on the field, one back at the 41. Prior to the snap, false start, 78, offense, five-yard penalty, remains fourth down. The play was whistled dead, so right. the face mask penalty really meant nothing. And so Arenas quickly drifts back. It was a 16-yard gain that uh, never happened because of the uh, illegal procedure. False start. Here's the punt. Arenas. Oh, another good one. Watch out. Yeah. 45-yard punt. McElroy. Play fake. Watch out. Throws it. In his offensive lineman, there's a flag in the end zone. It'll be a safety. It will be a safety. Had intentional grounding on the offense, results in the safety. Oh my. Lee has three to the left. Hands off to Scott. See if he got the first I down. I think he did. Yeah, it looked like he did. This is the pistol formation. Hand off Scott up the middle. Big open. Breaks a tackle. Now the chase is on. Kareem Jackson from behind. But a huge gain of 34 yards for Charles Scott, who remains on the ground. 
Jarrett Lee with the change. Hand off, Ridley bounces off the tackle of Reamer, heads for the corner, touchdown Tigers. And Les Miles wants to go for two. Courtney Upshaw. On the field for Alabama, here's Lee, drills it, bobbled, incomplete. D'Angelo Peterson. And it's 15-10. LSU with four down. Quarterback draw, McElroy up the middle. And he's got a first down at the 47-yard line. Under two to go, third quarter. Ingram. Watch him go. To the 30. Man, man. Julio Jones. Might not be catching a lot of ball, but he balls, but he's doing his job downfield, chicken fighting out there and allowing a little screen for Ingram. Ingram now over 100 yards. Look at that. How about that? Peterson back on the field. Trent Richardson. Kelvin Shepard with the tackle. McElroy. Left side. Mark Ingram tackled by Peterson. Very interesting. And he's hurt again. Now Leif Tiffin, who earlier this season, 5-5 five of five against Ole Miss. 4-4 four of four in the win against Tennessee. And he cuts this one inside the right upright. And Alabama climbs to within two. Ridley. Close. Close. Julio Jones is matched up against a safety. McElroy, here's Julio Jones. Gets by the safety, and he's got a chance. The chase is on, and it will be won by Julio Jones. Richardson. Got it. In formation confusion now for LSU. Jarrett Lee back under pressure. Marcel Darius gets there first. He's a beast. Yes. Roy, quarterback draw. No. Yep. Raheem Alam, number 84, and Drake Nevis were is, there. Isn't it amazing? McElwain and Sabin thought the same way I did. Fitzgerald on to punt. Trendon Holiday at the 10 yard line. Oh, they come after it. And a flag is thrown. Oh, boy. Daniel Graff, who blocked a punt last week for LSU comes after P.J. Fitzgerald and there was no hesitancy from Thomas Ritter. You know he had a pretty good run at Running it. into the kicker. Five yard penalty. It's going to be short. Yes. Wildcat McElroy on the line of scrimmage wide right. Ingram. He's got it and he's got a first down for Alabama. Roy drifting right. Nobody open. Wow. Did he catch that? That was that intercepted? Well, Peterson caught it. I'll tell you that. He got a foot in, I think. Well, he was tucking the ball, though. Watch his left foot come down before he catches it. There. And as he tucks it, his right toe touches. In or out. They called it incomplete. Exactly. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Incomplete pass, third down. McElroy. <laughs> Caught at the 35. Down to the 30, first down. Julio Jones. Third and six. 
Under four to go. Ingram darts to his left. And the whistles finally blow. Catrera, first one there. Here is Tiffin. About to become, if he makes this, the all-time scoring leader in Alabama history and with a chance to probably secure the victory. It's up. And he's got it. Keelan Williams again split out. Here's Jarrett Lee. In trouble, Marcel Darius has him again. Second sack in the ball game for number 57. Blitz, Barron coming. Pass, almost picked off by Marquise Johnson. Alabama backs off. Looks like Nico Johnson is coming, so is Barron. The pass, intercepted, yes. Robbie Green, number 23. That should do it. The final knee. The Alabama Crimson Tide win the West. Let's go down to Tracy, who is with Mark Ingram.